Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and we're going to go through the LCS uh, build for today. Uh, seems like a pretty straightforward type of contest. Straightforward in that, you know, it's only a two-game slate, and one of the one of the favorites is like a million to one to win. So it's going to be very, very difficult to get different here, um, unless you feel like playing the, the underdog, the SR, but I, you know, plus 600 to win. I mean, that's that's just a little bit, that's asking a little bit too much. The good thing is, again, it's a slate where you only can play 15 lineups. So uh, it's it's not as, as, as it's not as if everything is going to be covered. So it's possible that you can get a decent lineup with, you know, just a couple of uniques if you do this right. So let's, let's, let's just see what we're doing here. So we, we uploaded all the projections up here. And when you just look at it based on Sabre score, for example, you look at uh, almost all of it's going to be TL versus uh, FlyQuest. Um, but again, TL is only, you know, Team Liquid is only minus 162. So it's not like they're a complete lock. So I don't think it's particularly uh, useful to play 100% Fly and TL. Um, I think you can get a little different by at least playing some of the of the cloud nine on the other side. And it's just going to come down to getting the right, you know, the right kind of combinations. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to kind of run the, the Sims here. Before we do that, let's look at stack exposure. So even stack exposure, you're going to get, you know, almost all four threes. Again, extremely, extremely chalky. Uh, slate today but we're going to play it anyway uh, let's see if we can't at least do something different i don't know let's let, let's run the sims here we already put the information in uh we we, we ran our test lineups we're just now going to compare this to the um, to the uh to our lineups and see which of our lineups just rate to have a better ROI. And then the, what we're going to do to try to you know, get a little bit different, I guess, is to increase our min uniques. Um, so it's not a particularly aggressive approach to today's slate, but that's what we're going to do here. So let's take a look at this. So using just risk adjusted ROI, um, you're still getting a hundred percent fly quest and then 87% TL. Um, if you make it say min uniques three to kind of just screw around a little bit, then you get a little more of the cloud nine. And, and I think that's probably appropriate. You even get one lineup with SR. Um, so I think that that's, I think that's probably good enough. Let's just make sure there's no real weird captain here. You know, one core J, J uh, support in the captain for TL. Eh, is it just one? Maybe just one, we'll just leave it. Yeah, it's just one, we'll leave it. You never know. Um, and then we'll just kind of roll with this. I mean, I just kind of like this. So let's uh, save these to the shock blast. And again, we're not expecting to make a fortune today, but you know, just keep keep flexing, flexing our muscles. You know, it's continue to continue to play and to learn. Uh, let's look at the. I call it the triumphant warrior, but it's really not. It's called the gauntlet. It's the same thing. And again, you could really just probably just put in your best lineups if you want. Uh, let's put this to min uniques one. And the good thing is the best lineup I have is kind of a weird looking one, you know, uh, a four, three with TL, but, but with inspiring the captain with what, with Whippo or whatever. Um, or we could just play a straight four, three with TL. Um, so that would work too. Um, Which one do I prefer? I mean, it's really, I mean, it's really just a matter of taste here. I mean, uh, as far as risk adjusted ROI, it's uh, it's actually well, three thousand one hundred fifty six in this one. And why is it not sorting right then? If that's the case, hang on. So triumphant warrior. It says regular ROI. I mean, it's not really. Give me too much of a difference here. Why is this? Why is it not ranking these things right? Oh, by sim ROI, it's it's rating them. So six sixteen. It's weird. It's not really ranking these things right. So maybe we could take advantage of that. 
So let's just go down to the, even though this is rating this one number one, maybe people are going to see that as number one, where really this is the best risk adjusted ROI one. So what, let, let's let's go with this one. We'll hope the TL, you know, smokes uh, C9. And if we do, then it's going to really, you know, we, we probably win the thing by ourselves, which is which is pretty important. If we did this, I mean, it's okay. Um, this one could be duped. I don't think this one could be. I mean, it could be, but this one we're just rooting for for FlyQuest to win a nice, boring, you know, boring two gamer get the get the bonuses or whatever, and then TL win just kind of a more of a banger. So I'm kind of down with that. So let's uh, get rid of this one, and we'll play this one into the power gauntlet. And we'll be done with it. Again, again, not, not a particularly aggressive approach to the slate, but hey, something to do. And now we'll upload these. And we're good to go. All right, I'll post this up again after uh, the slate locks at four o'clock. And uh, that's it. Good luck, everybody.